Oh, we're doing another video. And have you seen this hair? Look at this. It's glorious. Glorious, I say. Oh, yeah. So, um, many of you know that we're, we're staying at my wife's mom and dad's parents' place while we're waiting for our house to be ready. And the studio is moving. And um, a few of the things that I would like to get for the place are a lot of little things that hopefully will make it a little quicker and more convenient to work with, let's say, like peripherals. Uh, and one of the things that we've done a lot of reviews here are just like USB adapters, USB-C adapters. And those are almost all powered from the actual, uh, the actual computer, so like the bus. But since I am a lot of times having multiple hard drives and things plugged in, they can run actually out of power. So I wanted something a bit better. Now, the folks over at Atola, Atola, these guys right here, Atola, I'll make this bigger, um, asked if I'd like to review this. And I was like, yeah, yeah please, that's, that's perfect. And it's here, this little Atola. Because one of the, you know, one of the things that I sort of dislike, I guess, uh, sort of, it's not a dislike, I guess, it's kind of an annoyance with let's say the iMac or any, like, a lot of them, is everything's, you know, everything's on the back. There's no access to any ports on the front. So you're always like digging around, trying to find stuff. And here, because I'm working on a kitchen table right now, not a big deal, it's easily accessible. But when you have everything set up in your office or your studio, you don't want to be spinning around or trying to figure out where things are. So we're gonna take a look at this, the Atola Aluminum, <laughs> yeah. You can keep looking at my hair too, because it's awesome. Uh, eight port powered, powered USB hub coming up. All right, guys, right now you guys can see here on their website, uh, 33 bucks. That's I think 33 bucks US. It's on sale. Hopefully it'll be like that when you guys are looking at it. Uh, normally $48, still not a bad price, but here it is. A um, few pictures, right? I like this smart charging, USB 2, there's a couple of USB 2 ports, a whole bunch of USB 3 ports. Each one has their own power button, so you can turn them on and off as you require them, which is awesome. Uh, and anything else? I'm sure there is. There you go. USB sticks kind of go in that one, keyboards, external devices, uh, cameras, printers, cell phones, tablets can go there to do their charging. I, I like, I like. So, let's just take a look at it. I, I don't know if the lighting here is very good. I don't know if it is because, yeah, I'm in a kitchen, right? I'm just in a kitchen. So, this is the little box, nothing overly fancy, but it's, it's good. So you do get this, I don't even know what kind of USB cable that is. You guys can see that there, right? USB-A to that. First I thought it was like a USB-B printer, but it doesn't quite look like that. It's like their own weird proprietary thing. Whatever. Uh, you get your power cable. So decent length. My guess is probably like five, six feet. Let's just undo it here. Because here, for instance, uh, yeah, it's about that long, I think. Somewhere in that range. Let's see. Ready? Oh, not, not very long. I'd like to have seen this longer, for sure. That's It's a good but I'd like to see it longer. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough reach. We'll, we'll find out, we'll see. But there you go. It's a whatever whatever that is there to a power brick, right? That's it. So that's cool. Uh, you get some more goodies. You get the quick start, whatever, plug it in. I'm, I'm with you. And you get a, what is this? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's funny. It's your member card, member card but it just has a QR code to go get your warranty. And a QR code, it looks like, if you wanna go get your invoice if you ordered it online, which I guess you have to. So that's cool. And last but not least, I'm just gonna put this away now. Throw some of this away. Uh, last but not least, this is it. Now, I like it because it's, for one, it's solid, for sure. Like that's, you guys maybe see that? It's definitely solid, right? Buttons got nice clicks to them. You might not be able to hear that, but really. I like a good, clicky button, that's nice. Uh, there's that weird, weird port right there, okay? 
and uh, that's 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 kind of it. Now I don't know. I really I don't know if this can get any power directly from the computer. We're gonna find out. Yep, we're gonna find out for sure. Because maybe you're like me and you're you're not actually close to a jack wall jack, or you have a laptop and you're portable and you're like I want this, but uh, maybe I just want to be able to plug it in, right? Or not plug it in. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna see see this. Turning this around. Yep. All right, so let's actually, I'm gonna eject this hard drive. That was, that was this, okie dokie, and a little charger guy. I'm keeping those out. This is going back here. Again, see this is, this is the headache that you would normally get with an iMac, yes? Okay, so number one, we're gonna, we're just gonna see if you plug this in, if it gets any juice. Ready, just right from the computer. Oh yeah, so it does. So it does get some primary power directly from the computer, which is awesome. My guess is that if you got in a scenario that you required more juice than what your computer could provide, then you could power this, which is great. Because if you were plugging in a whole bunch of, let's say, portable hard drives, your computer is probably gonna run out of juice, right? So, okay, so now we got my hard drive and we're gonna plug this into the top one here, okay. Voila, we're gonna see if that shows up. We're also gonna plug in, I got it, there it is, boom. It's on, it's on the desktop, nice. We're gonna also plug in, this is a, some extra batteries, and I'm gonna plug this one into the smart charger, okay. And those have lit up. That's, that's good. And, and then I could just plug in whatever. These, again, these ones down here, USB 2, it is labeled really nice, it says USB 2, it says USB 3. And I could be like, you know what, I don't need these right now. Uh, oh, the lights don't turn off. Do they? Oh, they do. you just hold it. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. See, if you just tap it, right? It turns on with a tap, but it doesn't turn off with a tap. That's really smart because the last thing you want to do is accidentally turn something off. And you're just like, oh my gosh, I just turned my hard drive off. My hard drive off. My hard drive, my hard drive off. So this won't turn it off, but if you hold it, it turns off. It'll t turn on really fast, but it won't. Yeah, that's smart. Um, this, this I like. It is powered, again, can be powered by your computer. If it requires more, or if your computer doesn't put out enough power, you can plug it in to let it be powered so that you can get all of these rocking and rolling. It is aluminum, which is nice. It's actually cool to touch right now. Will it heat up? I don't know. Uh, USB-A, no USB-C or anything like that on it. It's strictly USB-A, but primarily, even, even to, to, to today, to today, to today's standards, USB-A USB -A is still probably the one that you and I use the most, right? So I think this is fantastic. You get a ton, four USB 3.0s, three USB 2, and a power. Yeah, very cool guys. This is the Atola, Atola. Do I have it back up here somewhere? Yeah, Atola aluminum eight port powered USB hub. Yeah, very cool and a good price, 33 bucks. All right, my friends, I'll put links down below if you guys are at all interested. Um, I'm getting this cut soon. Yeah, it's getting cut soon, I think, because it's it's fantastic right now. Should that be a thumbnail, right? Just like, it's like mad scientist. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell. Links are down there. You know, get it if you want. And that's it. Later, my friends.